Determine which of the following is a quadratic inequality statement for the following solution on a number line. Okay, so what information can we glean from this? We can see that the roots are going to be at negative 1 and 2. We can see they've used solid circles instead of uh, hollow ones, which means that we're going to be using a less than or equals to or greater than than equals to sign. And assuming that um, our graph is positive, that means that we're going to be looking for, uh, or our parabola is positive, that's going to be, that means that we're going to be looking for um, the parts where the graph is greater than zero, right? If it's negative, it's going to be where it is less than zero. But we'll figure that out all in a second. First, let's deal with the roots. So we have negative one and two. So that's going to be, we have x equals negative one and x equals two. And so that will leave us with x plus one and x minus two, right? We're basically just working in reverse. Now we can factor all this in. So we want to uh, foil this out. So we'll have x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2. Then we need to add this all up. So we'll have x squared minus x minus 2. All right. Now we can see from this that our uh, Parabola is indeed positive, right? So it's going to look something like this. Let's say we have our x-axis here, and we have our zeros at 2 and at negative 1. And it doesn't really matter what the shape of the parabola is. It just matters if it's going up or down. We don't care where the vertex is. So all we really care about is that it's going to look something like that with... Um, the vertex in the negative and the uh, parts going to infinity in the positive. So what we're essentially looking for is where this parabola is greater than zero, right? Because these are, we're looking for this part and this part. And so as we can see, um, the parts to the right and left of our zeros here are going to be in the positive, right? So we want to say where x squared minus x minus 2 is greater than 0, okay? Now, the important thing to note here is, like I said, we're using uh, greater than or equals to because they have the solid circles. So it's really important that we don't forget that equal sign at the end, okay? So that's all for this one. I hope that helps. Thank you. Bye.